Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be taking you through how you can jailbreak your device on iOS 9.3.3. .3. Now if you found this tutorial helpful, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, to start off jailbreaking your device, you need to make sure that your iOS device is on iOS 9.3.3. .3. And you can do that by going into settings, general, and then about. You can also check it out on the computer when you plug it into iTunes. Up next, what you want to do is go to the Pangu website to download the tool to jailbreak your device. And it is enpangu.io. And you'd click download and help. It gives you this, you know, really short guide here. And you would click download, which is what we already did down here. As you may have noticed that it is downloading. And then this Cydia Impactor, you want to click on that now depending on your operating system if you're on a Mac you want to click the Mac OS X if you're on Windows you definitely want to click Windows Linux click Linux yada yada alright guys so once we've gone everything unzipped look for the impactor.exe and you want to run the file so you'd hit run and then it'll open and here it is now I'm gonna close it for now because I want to show you guys something before starting so usually generally people will tell you to right click it run as administrator for I don't know uh, you know for it to work but it won't work if you do that so don't run it as administrator so once you do try to run it as administrator you notice it has that X kind of thing it just won't run so you want to go on in here and check if this check the compatibility and if this is checked off then be sure to uncheck it let's can cancel that we're gonna run it normally let's just run it and here's our device it looks like it's turning off a bit um, so here is the program and once it has opened what you want to do is click and drag this file that you've downloaded already this IPA file and then you want to just drop it in there now this is you know this is one of those portions where you're thinking gosh why do I have to insert my iTunes email and stuff like that unfortunately you do need to do this so I'm gonna do it and then we'll be back alright so there we go once we've inputted the password it will start processing and then this button will come out or come out and this action will revoke and replace any existing Apple developer certificate associated with your account, which may or may not. I honestly don't know much about the official Apple development work. Alright, so anyways, just press OK. Okay, so now it will continue to, you know, do whatever it needs to do and then it's going to be done. Now once it's done, you notice on the screen, right, once it's done is the Pangu icon here. So what you want to do now is run it. Alright, so once you run it, it says untrusted developer, you know, whatever. And But, you know, to actually solve that problem, you want to go on into settings and then you want to go into general and then go all the way down it says device management and then in device management you want to tap on it it will say developer app and then it will give you the um, name of the account you're using and then you want to tap on it and then you want to tap trust so you want to trust your own account and then you confirm it trust it there we go and unable to verify app iPhone developer all right so we need to use the internet so I'm gonna log into internet right now all right so we're back and I logged into internet and now we're gonna do that again we're gonna verify the app and just tap verify there we go it's done and you know it says verified right here in Pangu we're going to get out of here and go back over here. Now let's launch it. There we go. 
even though I don't know what it says. Just press OK for this one. And then what you want to do is press Start. And it says Tip, please lock screen and wait a few seconds. So you want to lock the screen. All right, and you know, it's rebooting. Hopefully everything is fine. All right, there's some sound going on with my computer. It feels like, well, it sounds like it's connected because, you know, it has that USB connection sound. Now you wanna unlock your device, go back over here, you know, Cydia is not in here. So let's try that again. Go on in here. Perhaps start. Lock. All right, so there we go. There we go. Now, it will always say storage almost full, even though if it's not, you know, even though it's not full. Now, jailbreak already succeeded. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but it's going to reboot. All right, what it says here is that jailbreak succeeded, but needs a few minutes to install Cydia and respring. So, you know, it's installing right now. It's going to take some time. There we go. Now it's rebooting. And now we're gonna unlock it. Let's go back over here. There's Cydia, right there on the screen. And hopefully we can launch it. Let's try launching it. For the first time, it might crash or it might take some time before it loads. All right, there we go, it loaded. Now, if you're crashing, right? If you're crashing when you first launch it, what you gotta do is go back into iTunes and then you have to restore it. Restore your device to 9.3.3 again and do it again. Now, I do want to mention that this jailbreak is the semi-tether one, which means that when you turn off your device or, you know, when you lose all power and your device just turns off, you will need to do the jailbreak again. So we're going to close it and then I'll show you guys what I mean by it not working after you close it. So we're gonna turn it off. Now let's turn it back on. Okay, so here we go. It's turning on right now, but um, you know, so far, I think I haven't ran into any problem except for the impactor where I was running it with, uh, you know, with administrator. But other than that, everything seemed good. Let's go back over here. We're going to slide it open or unlock it and then go into Cydia. Notice it keeps on crashing. It won't open. That means it's not jailbroken. So once you turn it off you know you're gonna have to jailbreak again which is easy just go back over here press that button right there now you pr want to press start again press start to re-enable jailbreak so press start it says lock the screen so you want to lock the screen jailbreak succeeded all right so it's gonna take some time and it's gonna reboot Now, after it has finished rebooting, you should be able to launch Cydia again. Let's go on in here. Let's do that again. There we go. Everything should work fine. Now, I do want to mention that it has been confirmed that they won't be releasing a Tether jailbreak, which, you know, where you don't have to read do the jailbreak every time you reboot so you know if you're waiting for that I don't think it's happening but anyways 
Anyways, that is about it for this video. Hopefully you guys were successful at jailbreaking. Now let me know in the comment section below. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel.